Hey everybody, welcome back, Devin the OG, the original Grognard. Here we are, we're back at Lock and Load Tactical Digital. We got another uh, announcement, re releasement announcement, sneak peek that we're going to do for you today. We've kind of hinted about this, and if you're looking at the screen, you can pretty much tell what I'm going to be going over. We've kind of hinted about it, we've let some screenshots slip, some people have whispered, and there's been some grunt rumblings about it, but we are announcing we are working on the Battle Generator. Yeah, I know, it's not really that big of a surprise, but hey, this is the official announcement. Now, the Battle Generator is going to be its own separate DLC. Uh, I have no idea what the price on it is going to be. And when you download the Battle Generator, it will unlock the Battle Generator for every DLC you own. So if you look right here, the starter kit, there's the Battle Generator. Battles to the Rhine, Battle Generator. Days of Villainy, Battle Generator. Here's a Defiance. Here's the Falkland, so on and so forth. So basically, if you have the Battle Generator, you're going to have it unlocked for all your DLCs that you have with this. Now, what can you do with the Battle Generator? Well, what you can do, and it'll be right up here listed up at the top, you can either do a single scenario or a campaign game, and then you can choose which side you want to be. And the cool thing is, you, know, you can choose which side aggressor. If you want to, you can do force on force a team versus b team so you can have british on british you can have you know say heroes of the nam you can have uh, arv or not the arvin well you could have the arvin Viet Cong versus the nva you can do whatever type of mixed up uh mashup you want to do we are working on on eventually including so you could like take heroes of normandy against heroes of the red star if you wanted to do that that you're gonna be able to do that uh so yeah you have the single scenario or the campaign you choose which sides what type of battle type random attack defend or meeting engagement how big you want the map to be one map one map by two two by one two by two one by three three by two one or the red star match map which is uh neither hosa which is the uh, campaign map you choose that random extra points random scenario special rules use unit rarity and then you know just a specific seed seed just for you know randomizing on the computer side uh and then you just basically go right into it so let's take a real real, real quick look at it let's go with uh heroes on armady because i like heroes on armady we'll go 101st airborne against the germans random uh let's do with a meeting engagement uh, let's do a single scenario sure small 200 points we can do 150 200 350 500 or all the way up to 600 Let's go ahead and put the Germans on the computer. Now, we're not going to play it. We're just going to show you. Because you all know how Lock and Load Tactical plays anyways. So, we got it all set up. Single. So if you wanted to do a campaign, uh, the campaign length it could be three wins, five wins, nine wins. I'm not going to tell you what's all involved with the campaign. You're going to have to find that out for yourself. Mainly because we're still working on a lot of the details. And don't want to say too much because it may not show up in the final version. But let's just do a single scenario. Let's play the scenario and it will load up and then okay so we've got meeting engagement no real specific uh forces yet uh scenario six turns uh the americans have the initiative on turn one victory conditions vp comparison points for controlled marked areas all right so let's take a look at the map oh look at that this is the map this is the meeting engagement and so there's the victory point locations marked right there and here is our entry areas okay cool so then we go into purchase units and we put 200 points, but there's always a little bit of randomness in it, especially if you choose the option of, of bonus points. So we've got 212 points. So these are all of our, these are our core units. These are our leaders. And then you've got other single man counters. Uh, you don't have the heroes available for purchase eventually, but you know, the medic, squad, armor leader, uh, there's a sniper, and then all the different types of squads for the 101st. And then support weapons that you can purchase and all the points by. And it also breaks it down by how many are available because you're actually limited to what the actual board game count is. So, yeah, no 20 flamethrowers on your side. There's got the weapon teams. Then you've got all the vehicles that you want. Offboard artillery. So let's go ahead. Let's take Lieutenant Michael, Major Tom, Sergeant Hill. That's 12, 24, 34 points. So let's go, actually, let's go ahead and take Sergeant Hill out of there. Let's go with squads. Let's go with three assault squads, uh, three regular squads, support weapons. Let's go with the Flame, Flamenwerfen, a bazooka, and a bar. 
Weapon teams. Let's go with a mortar. Vehicles, we got 73 points. Uh, let's take what do we want? Uh, let's go with let's go with uh, uh, da, 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 M18. No, let's go with an M10. Let's go with an M10. That's 36 points. So we got 37 points. We get a second M10. Now let's get more infantry. Well, let's, let's get uh, three more squads. There, there we go. That looks good. And so there we've got all of our list forces there. And then you just hit and it just goes right into a normal scenario. Meeting engagement, my reinforcements, and like click what I want. Let's take that. And it plays out just like a normal lock and load tactical scenario. And impulse, and this is a meeting engagement, so the Germans are going to be coming on down here. See, he brought his guy on, and you just play it through, and that, just like a normal lock and load tactical game. So you can kind of come up with your own scenarios uh, for whatever meeting engagement, attack, defense, and you can do little campaign games. You know, three anywhere from three to nine ba uh, victories long, uh, and it's just something a little bit extra for you to mess around with and play around with. We are going to be coming at least I think we are, a little bit more of a robust, robust system, like I said, where you can have, you know, like SS versus Viet Cong or something like that. But we're still working on that. So we are hoping to have this released by the end of April, hopefully. But you know how computer programming in real life can, have, can be, so we'll see if it comes out on time or not. That's all I've got. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section below. And I'll talk to everybody later. See ya!